at the core of maintaining your truck's health is periodic maintenance. Uh, we're going to outline in these next sections uh, the procedures that have worked for me. So there's no experimentation on your part. These are, these are techniques that have been developed over 10 years that have proven results uh, to, to extend the life of every component on this truck. Um, first of all, before we get started, we have to determine whether your vehicle is in a normal duty situation or an extreme duty situation. Normal duty would be a truck that uh, you use occasionally to pull a trailer with, uh, you might go camping with, you might pull a horse trailer uh, on occasion, maybe some distance. Uh, you, you maybe you commute back and forth to work with it, maybe you go back and forth to the job site with it, or you just carry men and equipment with it. Uh, but you never run the truck at capacity. Uh, it's, it's a matter of how much capacity is the truck uh, uh, being hauled around with. Extreme duty is a truck that is, that is used uh, for hard work every single day. It's pulling a trailer with bobcats on it, or it's pulling a, a long horse trailer every time you use it. People tend to overload their trucks. Uh, it's a, it's a phenomenon that, that comes with the territory. The engine, that, the, the 7.3 liter diesel engine is really overkill for this chassis. And as a result, uh, Ford has detuned the engine a bit to uh, use it in this application. Every component in this vehicle has a certain lifespan. And the fact of the matter is, is that the engine with proper care will outlive the entire rest of the truck. 99% of the time any of these components that fail is because of neglect or an improper service procedure. Uh, this section is dedicated to outlining exactly what these service procedures are and in what intervals that you need to, need to do them at to make sure that every component lasts as long as it possibly can. I'm going to talk about the three F's. These are the three things that you need to know about your power struck truck. You might think that this is kind of basic, but you know, most of the problems that I see in people's vehicles that they bring to me in their trucks has to do with these three areas, or the neglect of these three areas. And the three F's are fuel, fluids, and filters. Fuel, you want the absolute best fuel that you can get for your truck best to buy fuel from a truck stop or, or a, uh, a station where the fuel is constantly turned. You do not want to buy your fuel from a, a, a somebody who does not sell a lot of diesel fuel. The reason being is, is that their tank is generally run down to the bottom. They don't keep it full because they don't sell a lot of it and there's no reason for them to, to stock the inventory of fuel if they're not selling a lot of it. And as a result, you're generally picking up a lot of debris off the bottom of the tank and, and, but even worse is that uh, warm, damp air, we, here in Georgia we always have humidity about 50%, but warm, damp air will get into that tank and condense water into the fuel. So you want to buy your fuel from a truck stop or somebody who, who uh, a station where they move a lot of fuel in an industrial area generally is best. Um, the second thing is the fluids. If you don't change your oil, your, your motor is going to be damaged not just from a lubrication point of view. In, in engine oil, in a, in a power stroke diesel, also doubles as a hydraulic fluid. And if you take any type of oil and you, you uh, subject it to high levels of heat and pressure, uh, it will go back to its native state, which is coal or sludge. And if you start getting sludge in, in the injection system of this engine, you're going to uh, be faced with some very costly repairs for the injection system. I have customers with transmissions uh, in trucks that are, uh, I know I can think of one that's approaching 300,000 miles, that's the original transmission. Uh, the man serviced the transmission, it's like he should, uh, and, and he pulls a trailer, a horse trailer everywhere he goes, and uh, um, it's, it's the key to transmission life is changing the fluid, uh, and there's a whole lecture devoted to that. Uh, Differentials always die, 99.9% .9 of the time, differentials die uh, the rear end or the front differential on a 4x4. They all die because of lack of lubrication. It's just that simple. Uh, you have a bearing failure and then, uh, then the ring and the pinion uh, get churned up into, into mush because a leak somewhere in the system, you have a, a catastrophic, uh, usually a catastrophic uh, failure in that component because of a lack of lubrication. 
it's important to inspect the differential and make sure there's no leaks. And there's a whole, again, there's a whole lecture in this that's dedicated to identifying leaks and finding leaks and figuring out and showing you the areas generally where they do leak uh, to keep an eye on those areas. Uh, I mean, obviously there's rubber seals in certain areas of, of the engines and transmissions and motors and differentials and transfer cases and whatnot that are, uh, over time, they are pr prone to fail. Uh, and as a result of this, they, uh, somebody who is committed to making their truck go uh, high mileage, half a million miles or more, is going to uh, have to keep a vigilant eye on these areas and catch the problem before it becomes an issue. So you've got to change your fluid. You've got to keep up with this stuff. If you don't, uh, you know, in the old days there was a commercial, where you can pay me now, you can pay me later. Uh, if a little bit of preventative maintenance uh, on these on these vehicles will go a very very long way, and that goes for the filters too, uh, oil filter, transmission filter, fuel filter, air filter. Um, uh, buy the highest quality filters, and, and for your truck, the highest quality filters are Ford filters. And if these things aren't done, any one of these things can cause you to have drivability problems and shorten the life of of the engine and the com and the components that go into the truck. Now we're going to talk about basic periodic maintenance. The schedule is broken down into two different sides. There's a normal duty and an extreme duty. Normal duty is made up in 5,000 mile intervals. In other words, 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, etc., etc. And at these intervals, you do an oil change. As I've outlined in that section, you do the injector tune-up and you do the checklist. For an extreme duty situation, we have run those vehicles on 3,500 mile intervals. Um, it's important to understand that these are set in stone. You don't deviate from this. Don't go over on the miles between these. Don't fudge these numbers. Don't go to seven. Don't go to five. Because when the fluid starts to break down in these vehicles because of heat, uh, they uh, uh, will cause damage to the bearings and to the wear surfaces inside the engine. So it's imperative that you do the oil change, the injector tune-up, and the checklist at these periodic times. Uh, it's, it's absolutely crucial to the, the longevity of your truck. Please go to these sections and, and listen to what I have to say in these sections because these are very important sections. These are the, the backbone of, of maintaining your truck's health. At 15,000 mile intervals and 10,500 mile intervals we do automatic transmission service. We will do a major service on the vehicle at 30,000 so we can do a basic auto trans service. Go to the automatic transmission service section and understand the difference between the two. It's very, very important. You can do the full service, you can change all the filters at 15,000, but I don't think it's necessary in a normal duty situation. When you get to the 30,000 mile service, we'll change all the filters and all the fluids in the vehicle at that point, and then we can change the filters in this automatic transmission. Now, at our 30,000 mile interval for a normal duty vehicle, or a 21,000 mile vehicle for an extreme duty vehicle, we're going to do a full automatic transmission service, change all of the filters and all of the fluids in the automatic transmission. We're going to do the differential services, uh, front and rear if you have a 4x4, uh, you, manual trans service. Now, we, we only do the manual transmissions, uh, whether you have a 5-speed or a 6-speed, if it's a late model. We only do that at 30,000 and 21,000. The 4x4 service, uh, which includes a transfer case and the front differential, we drop all of the coolant out of the vehicle. And we also change the fuel filter. Uh, 